Okay, um, it's, it's kind of a shame that I can't get the mask to, um, go more of a silverish. But if I do that, then the gray will, um, of the Batman suit will also look silverish, too. It's not supposed to look like that. Um, anyway, look, here's the blue spectrum. Blue is right there. Intensity is right there. And brightness is right there. Um, okay. Okay, so that was the number two palette. This is the number one palette. Color is all the way to the red. Intensity is right there, and brightness is right there also. To give it that gray. Although I'm not sure. I mean, it looks kind of like a 1960s Batman color design, sadly. Um, okay, so that's it on that. On the color design. Actually, I think I should make him look like Bruce Wayne in the skin. And then if I ever want to take off the, um, skull, it'll look like that he has, um, that he has, um, Bruce Wayne's looks. So I can do that. So let's do that real quick. Let's accept the color design. Closest thing I can get to the bluish color from the animated series. Um, okay, skin. I was gonna say, I mean, you can turn him into a robot or a cyborg if you want. If you do turn him into a cyb, wait a minute. Okay, I'll just no. I'll skip the Bruce Wayne look. But. Making his skin look like Bruce Wayne is an option. But if you do that, and let's say you want to take off the gloves to make it look like that, um, you know, it's it's like Terminator coming, like Batman Terminator. He's ripped out of his skin and his bat suit and everything. Hold on a second. Oops. If you want to like rip him out of his skin and make him look like like just a naked Terminator um, out of his bat suit and just have the skull, you can make him look like that. Yeah. That was a technical glitch. Why? Um Let me just make the skin look, um... Okay, now, so I gave, um, the metal a bluish, um, Terminator tint. So this is the skin. Number one palette, it's right there in the blue section, right there. Intensity is all the way to the top. Brightness is all the way to the top. Um, so I'll accept that. Now, as for, um, you know, something else I can do for him is I can give him the Magneto helmet, and that'll make him more shiny, and I'll do that, and then that way, um, I can, let's see if I, well, I don't know, might work. Get back, let's get out of gear. 
Let's go to head. Oh no, I can't do it. See, let me show you. See, so the game has it set for um, it being just a mask. Yeah, so if you change that, it won't work. So, um, okay. So let's get out of this. I've pretty much done all the character design I want to do with this. Um, I'll change it and give him... Give him that... Like that Superman underwear look. Um, I don't know what you call it. Let me find it. Pyramid slim line makes it look gray, and the reverse makes slim line makes it look all blue. There's pockets, um, paramilitary. Oh, now I know what you need. Okay. Okay, so here's what you do. Um, if you want to make a Batman hard act look alike you know, from the episodes. Um, you can either make it look like Bruce Wayne, but then he won't be a cyborg. So, make a cyborg, and then give him the skull mask with the glowing red eyes for the Terminator look. And he doesn't have his hood on, so, um, there you go. Um, give him the skull, the flying skull emblem. Make it look all, um, yellow, so you get rid of the skull look. Take the square belt, the rectangle, the rectangle belt buckle, and that'll be his utility belt. The chest you make all gray. Um, you give him blue fin lines. Um, you new Genesis pants with the underwear look, um, and then there's these kind of boots. I think that's pretty much it for him. You just give him the same abilities as Batman. Use Batman as a mentor. And just change the look around. And then you got a hard act um, Batbot. I'll call him Batman, Batbot Hard Act. So that's my version from two of the best episodes in the series.